Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com, and uh, we're here at NAMM 2017 in the Peisty offices with an old friend over here from Iron Maiden, drummer uh, Nico McBrain. How are you, sir? Oh, Chuck, good, mate. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're well. Happy New Year to all you all. I know it's a month and a bit down the road, but... Uh it's, oh, good, man. Yeah. It's, it's going to be an interesting year for Iron Maiden this year, man. You got uh, you announced the big uh, tour going on. So tell us a little bit about 2017, what's happening with Iron Maiden. Wow. You know, we uh, the big year was last year, really. Uh, 2016 was the uh, around the world with the 747. Kicked off in February last year, went through to August. And then um, we decided after we did the six months... Most well, mostly everywhere. We had new territory, went to China and uh, El, El Salvador, places like that. First time, which was immense. But uh, we decided that we really need to do a British tour because we haven't done a full British tour in years. So the idea was, right, well, okay, let's go back to Germany, do a few shows over there, kind of get ourselves back into playing, and um, before we hit the British tour. So I think we're doing um, six, five or six shows in Germany. Uh, Antwerp's the first gig, um, 22nd of April. Off we go through Europe, back to England, do uh, 12, 13 dates. I'm not sure exactly how many shows we're doing, probably 12 or 13. Uh, and after that, we come over here and we kick off. And the reason we're doing that is because the first part of the Book of Souls tour, we did, we, I think we did seven or eight shows in America. Uh, my memory may be wrong. You can go on like, no, you did 10, Nick. I know you did at least one in Los Angeles because yeah. I was there. Yeah, we did the lot. Well, after that, we went to Jap I think we went to Japan from Los Angeles. But we, you know, we didn't really do an American tour. We took, uh, we did four shows up in Canada and sips that back. And I think we did 10 total uh, before we went across the water. So it was decided, let's come back. So we've got a six month, uh, uh, sorry, six week uh, tour of the state. Starts June, June the 3rd, finishes the 22nd of July. So that's a nice little uh, jaunt across the US for us. Uh, and that's it. Um, that's it for Maiden for, that year, for this year. Um, but of course, you know, being here at the show this year, we've got these wonderful symbols that uh, we created to get, I created with Piesty or the other, it was a big collaboration on the Book of Souls uh, set of symbols. And um, it's obviously taken, the themes taken from the stage production. Anyway, yes, uh, the, the, the artwork on the symbol is, yes, of course it's Iron Maid Night uh, font in uh, the brand Piesty's in the Iron Maid font. At, uh, it's unique uh, to me and the band and um, I'm very blessed and humbled to be, uh, literally to have been able to have worked on this set of symbols and all the, uh, the all the past collaborations of, uh, of various bits and pieces we worked on but this is very special where Eric uh, Peisty and I had a conversation over a year ago prior to the tour starting about putting uh, the Mayan calendar artwork on the gong. I have a 40 inch symphonic uh, signature reflected gong which I've used uh, on the last three tours and um, so we took that as the as a canvas and we put uh, a guy called John Douglas did the artwork on it and we took um, liberties with the, the with the central image on the gong is the Jaguar Leaper in the uh, in Eddie format so we, I took the egg, the Jaguar car Leaper and stuck it Eddieized it that's another story yeah uh, but, beautiful though. yeah but the that, that basically started the conversation off about where we were going to go with the symbols. And Eric said, well, why don't we do a special symbol for you for the tour? Because it's, it's, I had a brand new drum set that I used with Sonor that they built for me. Um, and we basically created these symbols and the artwork on them from the Mayan Canada. And then uh, I said to Eric, well, why don't we, we put the date on the symbol when I first officially had my very first drum beat with, with Iron Maiden? Unofficially, I joined the band in 82, but the very official day that I struck the snare drum with the band was January the 9th, 1983. So we took the glyphs, somebody researched the glyphs of the Mayan calendar and the dates, and we put that on the, on the symbol. Then we decided to, to create a box for the symbols to go in. And, and that was an idea that came up where I said, well, if we're gonna do that, I want it to be like a treasure set, like found Mayan treasure. Yeah. But somebody's found it and boxed it up, and we find a box in the jungle. <laughs> so that's brilliant. You know, that was the sort of story behind it. And then, so now what we've come up with, you can buy this set of symbols. Now there are two symbols in that set you can't buy. 
that they've just built for me, oh, no. which is a 15 inch heavy fall crash, which is the very first symbol in, uh, that I use on the left side over the six inch. Then there's a, a 13 inch 602 heavy bill, which is not made anymore. They don't, they don't only make it for me, which is a, an honor. Yeah, absolutely. Now you can, you, with this set, you get that. And of course, it's all in the Piesty logo, uh, Maiden logo, uh, font, should I say, the Piesty font right. in the Maiden font. Right? Um, and then the other, there's a couple of other unique things to it. The, the, we've got a, a laser etched um, logo underneath the symbol, which is the Piesty logo. And uh, the serial number is 19830109, and then four numbers, which will be the official serial number. So every number starts 19830109. And then uh, you, in the box, you get the treasures are not just the symbols. There's a couple of surprises in there. Uh, you get a vinyl album, the triple vinyl album, signed by myself, the Book of Souls book, CD, and a pair of drumsticks that uh, Vic Firth made for me. My, on my stick, my signature model is Nico Boomer McBrain, and it's all in the Iron Maiden font, except for this set of six who's in the Book of Souls font. So it's Nico Boomer in the Book of Souls font. McBrain, you can't buy them. They're just made for this tour, so those are those are very unique as well. Wow! And last but not least, I ain't done yet. No. He's quick, and he's on a promise. Uh, last but not least, is uh, uh, where there's a letter of authenticity that goes in, which is signed by myself and uh, and Eric Peisty. Uh and um, that's it. It's a very expensive ask for people, so it really will appeal to. I suppose three genres of people, Piesty symbol lovers, fans of the, of the brand, um, Iron Maiden fans, that most definitely, because it's, it's a book of soul set of symbols and you can't get them anywhere else, and Nick I'm at Brain fans. So there's three kind of light ways of um, where we, we might be. And the other thing is we're only making 83 sets of them. That's it? Yeah. Okay. And once that 83rd set sold, you can come and ask me if you can have a set of mine because I've got five of them in the warehouse at the moment in my box uh, because I take, well, actually four. What the set I use and four spares of everything except for the ride symbol. I've got one of those because the rides never crack. You never break a ride symbol. If you do, there's something definitely wrong with with your drum technician that's putting <laughs> your drum set up, right? But, um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm so... I can't be begin to explain how, how special they make me feel. But out of that, the most important thing is for me is my relationship with the family. I had this, I've had this amazing relationship with, with uh, Tomas from 1989 and Eric, um, who's now you know, the boss and CEO and president of the company, and his wonderful wife, Kelly, who, whom is, is adorable. I, 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 I'm part of that family. So that's the most special, unique thing for me is, is that I'm not just a drummer that uses this brand because I love it. It's the part, I am a part of this family. And uh, it's a great honor to be, uh, for them to have honored me with this set of symbols. So, uh, Everybody's happy, man, because they are beautiful. I, just, I took a look at those. Yeah, you know, and the other thing as well, you know, you look on the stand and you, you see uh, Daru's beautiful set of symbols, these, these incredible 12, you know, for people that don't or may not see it, check it out, these symbols are 12 inch, he's got 12 inch hi-hats, 12 inch like splash crash and a 12 inch bell ride, which is insane. And then you've got the sick the, the 9000 series, which is basically we, you know, taken over from the Alpha line, which is a, a mid-price symbol, which is very affordable. And they've also done them in color sound. Yeah. I noticed the big color sound that they had. Oh, they got a new display. Uh, you know, and uh, I used to use color sounds, but I used them on the 3000 series right. in, in the old days, in the, in the early 80s. And uh, you, you know, we know there's other great companies out there. There are great symbol manufacturers uh, other than Piesty, but this company is so, they, they are sound gongs innovation and it's like just you know we've lost Tomas we lost our our main sound creator in, in Robert last year in November which so it's now kind of fallen on Eric's shoulders 100% because his dad's gone and his uncle so Kelly and Eric are really like the foundation now and to be part of that is, is immense it's immense but I look at the stuff out there and uh, it's funny enough Mickey D and I were talking he says I've got to stop using my signature symbols because Klaus... That's what I use, yeah. Yeah, Klaus, because he's playing with the Scorpions now, right. right? And Klaus is like, it, it, the top end of the signatures are cutting. They, they do, they're built for live music. Right. 
and uh, more so than the 2000. I said, well, why don't you go back to 2002? He said, I like those colour sounds. What about those? I said, well, those 9000s, you hit a little bit too hard for them. You will be going through them at a fair rate. He's ever here. So he's gone, what am I going to do? I said, get 2002s. They got less cut on the top, especially when they got the colour sound anyway. So, but you know that, that that's how pricey work. If you if if one of their family go to them, they'll 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 do like like the thirteen heavy, but they made and the fifteen inch full heavy heavy full crash. You can't buy that, but in a way, uh, you, oh yeah. And the other story is that the I when I had I have duplicate sizes. Right? I used to use two seventeen roots. So that's why I have the 15, because I, I didn't want to have the same sound on the kit. And um, with, with the same size symbol, you know, two 17-inch roots, they sound the same. So they made the 15 for me, and then I had a 20-inch, before the heavy full crashes I was using, the power, power crashes. Slightly different top end out of them, but still the same dynamic, you know, in terms of the power. When you put it in, you get it out. And... I had a 20 inch prototype on my right side, which I've had for about 15, 16 years. And it's only been a prototype, so it's always been Nico's prototype symbol. And I was on at Eric for years and years, please put that in the family. People want to hear that symbol, they want to buy it. Sure. You know? And so, oh, let me think about it. A year ago, buy it. We're going to put it, no, I'm not sure we should do that. No. And it went on and on for years. And I'm going, Eric, you've got to do this for me. Please put it in the phone. So, the other good news this year and this week was we've introduced the prototype is now the fast medium and so eric decided to make an 18 inch and a 20 inch fast medium which is my prototype that's now back into is actually in the production in the signature reflector line so there's there's not only the book of soul symbols that is very very important to me we've taken the prototype and now it is available away from the book of sales set. So, so you're like a salesman for the company on well, top that, of it. Well, I, I always have been. That's, that's You know, when, when you go out as a drummer and do drum shows, that's what you're doing. You, a lot of drummers will go out and just show off and, and teach and do like a master class. You very rarely see them talk about what they're using. And, and I, but I've, I've always done that. I'll introduce to the audience and I take a good maybe 40 minutes explaining what I use and why I use it. And I do that with the drums, do it with the pedals, I do that with my drumsticks, I do that with the drum heads, I do it with everything. But because there's so much, it takes a, it takes a while to get around my drum set, right. you know. And it's important because I don't use it because I get it free, I use it because I love it. Right. And it's always been my philosophy in my life as, grow, as, as I've been growing up. And uh, I bought my first set of cymbals with me. When I first joined Maiden, I said to the guys, I said, right, I want to step into a number one deal. Because I had a number two deal with Trust, you know, which was permanent loan. No, but not kind of permanent loan. I mean, they could have asked for their symbols back. Yeah. Right? But the number one deal is that's it. They give them the you they're yours, you do them what you like. So I said, give me, the, give me the number one deal. I'll buy the symbols. I want to buy the gong. And uh, they said, fine. You know. So it's never been about getting gear free. No, but I imagine you still, like I said, you still got uh, bits and pieces of those first ones that you got. And well, funnily enough, the very first set of symbols that I got from uh, on, on what I thought was a Piesty deal was in 1976. Um, actually, I'll tell a lie. It was in 1975 when I was with Street uh, Bangor Streetwalkers, and I had a seven sound set box set. And the only symbol I've got left is a six-inch bell, but it wasn't actually my original six-inch bell symbol that came in that set. I cracked all the 602s along the way, right? Um, this is before the 2002, so, you know. Anyway, uh, I do have a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of the black logo Pisces uh, 2002s, which are very rare now. I can imagine you got all kinds of pieces over your place, man. <laughs> I do, I've got a warehouse. But now the funny thing is here, right? I've got to tell you a story. About 1989, 90, after I really got to know Tomas, oh, actually, actually it was early 90s, uh, we we been we, we got on like a house on fire. I got on really well with Tomas and uh, miss him dearly even today. We lost him in 2002, which is 15 years ago. Goodness. Um, anyway, <laughs> I said to him one day, I said, look, you know all those symbols you've given me over the years? Yeah. I said, I want to give them back to you. 
He says, what? In pieces? Uh, no, I said, I've got, you know, I, I carry spares of everything. Right, right. So I'd have four 17 roods, four 18 heavy crashes and whatever I was using. And a lot of the times, I get certain symbols you could crack, certain sums, so, you know, a lot of times I'd go through a bunch of root symbols. Sometimes this last two, I think I went through two. Right, it depends. Right. And plus, I'm not hitting them like as, I, as hard as I used to. I may be using the techniques a little bit different, like how I should have been hitting them 25 years ago. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't take them back. Really? He said, "No, I don't want them. They're yours." It's yours is yours. I said, "No, no, no." So I've got all the tour, all the symbol tours, tour symbols I had for those right. all the tours I've done with Maiden are sitting in the warehouse and they're in <laughs> big boxes, and it takes a lot of room up. So yeah, I do have quite a, a collection of uh, of Pisties. I've got some old Pisty Ludwigs as well. When Ludwig uh, in the fifties were distributing Pisties, and uh, that's very special. In fact, uh, before Tomas passed away, he asked me if I could give him one, and I said, "Of course I would." And, and I never got around to it, and then we lost him. But I, bu I buy them on eBay. I go on and have a look, pick up uh, little gems here and there. Never know. So if you got one out there, boys and girls, and I, I'll let you know if it's me. Don't jack the price up. All right? <laughs> He's shopping. <laughs> I'm shopping. But no, it's 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 amazing because I, I've had this I've had this love affair with this brand before I even went pro, and um, uh, you know I've always I've always just loved the shine and the profile of the Piesty, and uh, now I'm now I'm so so much a part of this family. It's 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 great. It really is. So that's it. That's what we're doing here. It's awesome, man. On behalf of all Iron Maiden fans and all of us at Vintage Rock, man, God can't wait you, man. to see you out there on the road again yes, and, and rocking the Pisces. Yeah, you know? so so. Three, the, the, we got the three-month uh, Book of Souls culmination. It, it ends up the, the tour we started last year. And you have Ghost opening up on the oh, shows, man. too. They're well, we fun. Got, yeah, we got Shine Down in Europe and, and England, and uh, they're, they're fine band. Good, yeah. good players. Good. I haven't met them. Uh, Ghost, we know. They've toured with us before. They're all lovely guys, yeah. and, and, and their music is... is uh, I like the music, I like the harmony, you yeah. know, they do a lot of really cold harmonies within this kind of rock genre, yep. which you don't get a lot of, and right. uh, I, I really like that band, and they're lovely guys, and uh, so it's, it's always nice when you go out with people that you, you get on with, right. and believe me, there's some out there you don't. Right. Um, we, we've been blessed because most of the people we tour with are fans of the bands, and there's not, they're not, there's not people that come out that aren't fans, so it's very, very, very special. I appreciate, I appreciate you talking with us here at uh, Vintage Rock, Nico Good McBrain. One, Good one, my son. Again, Nico McBrain from, uh, from Iron Maiden here at uh, Peisty at NAMM 2017. I'm Junkman from VintageRock.com. Humble. Oh, bless you. <laughs>